Oh, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Rick Panetta, and um, I'll cover the Smart Monitor. Uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll cover the four topics in today's presentation. And this will be in this agenda. We've got um, <clears throat> the first one we'll be looking at is looking at the overview of the Smart Monitor, and then look at which router supports Smart Monitor. And then we'll just go quickly over Smart Monitor installation. And here I'll just show you a brief video showing you the process involved. And then we'll look at the Smart Monitor features and then Smart Monitor reporting. So now I'll just start by giving you an overview of uh, Smart Monitor. Uh, Smart Monitor is a powerful network traffic analysis tool. It is suitable for small to medium sized businesses. It combines traffic sniffing together with application layer decoding, categorization, analysis, and statistics. Smart Monitor enables you to analyze in great depth your internet traffic as a professional aid to improving efficiency and detecting pot potential problems. You are also able to capture actual live data, <coughs> such as the content of um, emails or instant messages coming into or out of your network as well as see statistics on data type activity and specific files uploaded and downloaded. Uh, this will help uh, network administrators to pinpoint heavy traffic uh, users and ensure that internet uh, usage conforms to the business network usage policies. So I'll cover these aspects in more detail later during the presentation. So, um, as I mentioned earlier in the introduction, or as was mentioned anyway, um, Smart Monitor software is a free download from Draytech. It's available for both Windows and Linux platforms. And the only requirement is that you need a have a supported Draytech router installed on your network to be able to use the software. At the moment, Smart Monitor will only monitor traffic through the router LAN ports. So Wi-Fi routers, um, you know, will not be monitored. Um, uh, that's you know the the end routers who won't monitor the wireless traffic from the the Wi-Fi. But um, you can um, connect the access points directly to the LAN ports to uh, pick up the Wi-Fi traffic. And um, in this uh, screenshot, it just shows you the Smart Monitor homepage. And as you can see here, there are a number of uh, menu options. These include system settings, user settings, service analysis, service and user analysis, as well as the ability to generate reports. So it's probably a bit hard to see on the screen, but we'll go in more detail a bit later. And as mentioned, uh, Smart Monitor is a free software and um, it's available for both Windows and Linux platforms. So um, uh, but we just uh, look at the uh, but here the, on the previous uh, slide, I showed you 15 icons and um, these cover a range of um, you know, analysis you can have. So, um, uh, so you can, you've got here uh, the traffic and not user management system. I think I mentioned these earlier, all these ones here. So here we have a typical network topology that uses a Viga 2860 router and Smart Monitor will monitor user activities on the internet and on the left hand side we can see the types of uh, applications that Smart Monitor will be able to decode and place into categories uh, for analysis. So I don't think you can see um, there's a few applications on the left there but, um, but we'll go through that later and then um, so now we just look at uh, which routers support our Smart Monitor. And here we've got a list of the, um, the routers. And you see most of the routers are covered, except for the low end ones. And, uh, but most of the business grade routers are supported by Smart Monitor. It includes all the new models as well. And the um, number of PCs that can be monitored uh, with Smart Monitor is determined by the uh, the router model. 
So here we have the router models that can monitor up to 30 PCs. And the list includes the Vigor 2820, 2830, 2850, 2860, 2912 and 2920, and also 2925. Uh, actually, no, 2925, uh, I'll show you on the next slide. It actually supports uh, 50 uh, PCs. And also the Vigor 3200 and Vigor IPBX uh, will monitor up to 100 PCs. And the higher end models, uh, such as the Vigor 3900, can monitor up to, 200, up to 500 PCs. And the 2960 will do 200 PCs. So I'll just quickly go over the what's required for smart monitor installation. Uh, so before you start, you need to have a PC that satisfies the minimum requirements that are shown here. So the PC will need at least um, 20 gigabytes of free hard disk space and at least one gigabyte of RAM. So most, most of the later model PCs will be okay. Um, so I'll just quickly just go through the steps very quickly and then I'll show you the video, which will give you, you know, a real live demo. So the first what you need to do is to download the software from our website. And after you have downloaded the software, uh, then you start the installation process, which um, first thing it does is installs the Apache HTTP server and then installs um, WinPCAP. And then after it's completed, you can start using Smart Monitor and then start monitoring the uh, network traffic. So, um, and also there's the router configuration that's involved as well. We've got to set up um, port mirror on one of the, uh, the mirror ports on one of the LAN ports. And this just shows your typical installation use the Vigor 2820. Uh, we have one PC port, oh, but the PC is right, it's connected to one of the LAN ports, that's the mirror port. Um, this shows you the 2820, um, which requires two connections, but later model routers, such as 2830, 2860, uh, all the new ones only require one single connection. So what I'll do, I'll, first of all, I'll, I'll play the, uh, the video for you, which gives you all this in more detail, so probably be easier to understand. So if you just give me a few seconds, I'll just um, bring the video up for you. So just take a few seconds. And this will give you a, a live demo. So um, let's try to bring it up. So it's control V. Okay, so I'll start playing the video for you now.
Okay, so hope people found that video useful. It, it covers uh, the installation plus some of the uh, features of uh, Smart Monitor. So what I'll do now, I'll just, uh, just go over some of, I think you've already seen some of this already in the video. This shows you um, a typical installation using a, uh, a switch. And here you've got the, um, a single LAN connection between the Smart Monitor PC and a switch. And you just set up a board mirror on the, the switch itself. So I'll just go through some of the features. Some of these were shown in the, the video, but uh, I'll just go into a bit more detail. So, um, so when you first start up Smart Monitor, you'll notice there's different sections on the home page, as you can see on this slide here. And most of the functions and reports can be accessed from the menu bar at the top. And so also at a glance, you can see who, we, who um, the top 10 users are and the traffic type uh, generating the traffic. And you can also see the icons for service analysis. So it's uh, down in the middle towards the bottom. So, so these, uh, there are 15 icons for service analysis, uh, as you can see here. And these provide a, a quick way to look at a particular uh, service at like shortcut. So as you can see here, the services cover a range of applications such as mail, web downloads, peer-to-peer -peer traffic, and so on. So all you need to do is to double click on the icon to uh, display the results. So here we've got um, one example, after you double click the HTTP icon, it displays the PC um, IP address or a name if you configure the name and which websites have been accessed. And um, there are also a number of uh, configuration options in Smart Monitor. So the system options let you, which is just shown here, it's a system option and let's just set up um, administrator accounts and the privilege level for that uh, administrator. Then other settings can also be modified, but um, I won't go into great detail here, but these are covered in um, the user guide uh, that you can download from uh, our website. So um, the uh, next configuration option uh, on the menu is the user setting, which is just towards the right of uh, system. And here you can assign a username for each um, user's PC. Uh, so the IP address will match the user and also place them into a group if required. So if you've got also people in um, say sales, uh, you list them under the sales group. So, you know, when their name comes up, which group they belong to. So this will help the uh, network administrator to easily identify uh, which user corresponds to the traffic being viewed. And the remaining menu bar options are used to view network usage reports. And these are service analysis, um, user analysis and reports. So um, I'll just go through um, some of the reports uh, generated by a Smart Monitor. So I'll give you an idea of the level of detail that can be captured in Smart Monitor. So I think you saw in the video some of the, you know, what you can do. But um, so uh, the first one I'll show you is the service analysis. And um, this is similar to the service analysis icons I showed you earlier. So the next configuration option is the user setting. And um, I'm not sure I can see it here. But, um, but with the user setting, you can assign a, a username for each uh, user PC IP address and place them into the group uh, if required. And um, so I'll just go the, the next slide here. And um, so as I've shown before, after we double clicked on the HTTP menu option uh, in the pull down list, we can see the HTTP traffic corresponding to each user. But here we've just got the IP address is shown. So I think I've shown you this before. And the next one is the, um, is the user analysis uh, reporting. And here we can view the records uh, and report uh, and, and look at each user by traffic and top 10 users. So there's a few options there. And here we show the user list by traffic volume. So you can see the bar graph and to show you the highest uh, user is at the top and lowest down the bottom. And 
then also under user analysis, you can see who the um, top 10 users are. So clicking on the top 10 menu option uh, will display the top 10 users, as you can see uh, on this screenshot. And there's various categories as, that are shown as based on the application type. So you can click on the user to get more details on which internet sites they visited and the amount of data that has been downloaded. And the, um, the reporting section of Smart Monitor will provide historical reports of traffic that was monitored. And here we have the traffic report for a 24 hour period. And the report shows a, um, a bar graph for the total usage and the hourly graph for the different, different types of uh, traffic being monitored over the um, 24 hour period. And the statistics report is displayed as a pie chart and shows the proportion of traffic in relation to other traffic uh, that's been monitored. And then finally we can create customized reports and here we can select the service type we wish to report and either export to a PDF or send out as an email. And the email can be scheduled to be sent out automatically on a daily or weekly basis. So you've got the, um, I'm not sure you can see here, but you've got the, down the bottom, you've got the option as a PDF or as an email, then it should be a schedule option down there. I don't know if you can see that too well.